The arts, and specifically music and theater, has been a great thing for me uh, to be a part of in high school. Uh, it has given me a lot of uh, dispositions and a lot of great things to work on that will help me out in the future. Music is important to me because um, it's really helped me focus in school, I think and I love doing it, and it's um, something I found that I can be passionate about, and it's something that I love doing. And I think there's something really special about being in a choir and singing with all those other people, because um, when I do music by myself, it's an outlet for me personally, but when I do it in school, it's like I can connect with all those different people, and it's actually a really special experience, and you can't, I don't think you can get it anywhere else. My family played music, and so I started music when I was really, really young. But when I got to school, I was really shy and quiet up until about high school band. And then everybody was just so welcoming and friendly and it was really hard not to talk to people in band and not to, not to have a good time learning music. And it really helped me be a better person because I learned how to help people and how to listen more. And it's just helped me with collaboration and everything in all aspects of my life. And I always want to do music. The question that I, I chose to, to um, at least respond to is, is uh, why did I choose to be a music teacher? And um, really, I think the, the question is, maybe music chose me. It was one of those things that had always been an important part of my life as, as far back as I can remember. An interest in music, an interest in choir, an interest in, in playing piano. And so all of those things as a, as a young child uh, were all very interesting to me and became uh, one of those things I think that fostered my love of music. I don't think I would have gotten nearly as much out of high school if I hadn't been involved with the music program with the different choirs I was in and doing musical performances and I also definitely would not be pursuing music um, as a college career. When I first started out people always thought, told me that I couldn't do things because of my autism and uh, if it wasn't for music I couldn't be able to do the things I can do even today. So. If anyone tries to discourage you, don't listen to them. Just keep doing what you want to do and don't give up. Music is so important to me. Um, throughout my middle and secondary education, it has given me an outlet to express myself. It's given me a community of friends and family to make music with and share something really special. Um, I'm, a, I'm at the University of Missouri right now studying music education. I want to be um, someone who can give that spark to more students to help them find their outlets, to help them express themselves, to give them a community that supports and appreciates them. Singing or performing in an ensemble is one of the most cooperative things that students ever do. Even more than sports, it's not one person at a time or the small team, someone sitting on the bench, you're all performing at the same time, so everybody is important. Um, the other thing is that music, performing music uses so many senses. We, it's math, um, or so many of the sciences I should say. It's science, it's math, it's um, physical, it's so many different things at the same time. And the only other thing I can think of to say right now is that when you look at our choirs and our bands and orchestras, we have the very top students in the school and I, I think what does that say? that does music create uh, higher intelligence or, do, or, you know, or are they just attracted to music? But I think that there is a Mozart effect and I think that music does help students learn better and become better students. I 
chose to be a music educator because I wanted to be able to help students. And I found when I was younger that music was one of the few places that I could always find somebody to, to lean on and help me with anything that I needed, whether it be my English class or my music classes. Those teachers were there for me and I was able to make a connection with them and it made getting through my days so much easier because emotionally it gave me somebody to lean on. And that's why I chose to be in music and I think it's important to have it in our schools. I was the kid who I was told I was bright, and I feel like I'm bright, but I did not do well in school at all. An example of that would have been my 10th grade year of school. I would not go to school. I just wouldn't go. I didn't like it. I didn't feel happy there. So I would go to orchestra, I would go to music theory, and I would go to choir. And those were the only classes I went to in my 10th grade year. My parents tried everything to try to get me to stay there. Needless to say, I flunked that year. The next year, my orchestra teacher, Dan Holt, who has been my teacher since I was, uh, since fourth grade in Ferguson Florissant, somehow by making me concert master of the orchestra and putting me in touch with the right people, um, I just started making music my career. And that was a way for me to not only have self-esteem, but kind of to learn also. Somehow that through leadership and leading, he believed in me to go ahead and lead the orchestra. Instead of saying, oh, you flunked in 10th grade, who are you? He recognized that I had talent and I had brains and that I had worth. And um, my playing the violin, and um, I am a conductor today because I think of him. Um, so I caught up with my school year. I actually did two years of work in one year. And I, went, I got on a four-year scholarship to college. All my college was paid for. And I ended up graduating summa cum laude and learned and love all kinds of subjects. And I think I would, never would have got there if it weren't for having this talent and this thing that taught me how to learn. Music helps me in the everyday life by ins inspiring me to do things that I never thought I could do, such as like dance, draw, and s sometimes sing. I taught middle school for two years in uh, Houston, Texas, um, and I was able to uh, really see music do this. Um, a student, uh, I won't mention his name, um, but he started coming to school, he joined choir, um, and that got him out of a lot of trouble. Um, doing a lot of various activities that he shouldn't be doing. Um, but through music and through choir and the experiences that he had, he was able to uh, make the region choir. He was able to go to um, summer camp uh, full of music. And music has just a, such a, a big way of really capturing students, especially male students, um, to really, really uh, just impact their lives and to cause them to do things that they maybe not have known that they could really do. I feel like people don't understand what an importance music is to us as students, us as kids. Um, it's been a huge part of my life ever since I was little. It's, the thing about music is it can take you away. From the stresses of school, I'm not a big math person, but I can leave math and I can go to choir, I can go to band and I can sing the songs that we're singing, the pieces of music that are just put together and I'm whisked away. I don't have to worry about my life anymore. It's just, it's this beautiful experience and it saves me. It really does. I think I can express myself more through music than I can just being a person. I do have a bubbly personality, but um, through music, it's just a whole different universe, I guess. It's really cool. I'm so glad music was invented. <laughs> I actually had an experience when I was student teaching where I had a kid that had discipline problems and was just giving me a really hard time in, in everyday classes. Um, at the end of my student teaching, I asked the students to answer a couple of questions, and one of the questions was, what have I done to help you or to teach you something in music? And the kid that I never thought would ever have anything nice to say about me said that I showed him that music can be more than just reading notes on a page. It's, it's about expression, it's about love, it's about hate, it's about everything emotionally that you can think of. And when I read that, it literally brought tears to my eyes just to see a kid that had been broken and, and hurt in some way make a connection um, through me with the music. And that's what music is all about, is making connections um, with personal life and, and with others around you. One of our music majors at Merrimack College, a vocal major, um, was missing class and I had her in to talk to her and found out that 
She'd had a death in the family and she was very despondent and thinking about committing suicide. And so I said, but you know, you have so much talent and so much to offer. And I encouraged her to see uh, the, a counselor at the school. We got her into the hospital for psychological counseling. And I went to visit and met the music therapist there. And she said she'd never had such a delightful experience of having such a fine vocalist to sing songs with. And it made a difference. The girl decided to go on and, with her life and continue majoring in music. And that is certainly saving someone through music. So I think music is important. It's a way that connects us to other people. It's an expression of emotions, and emotions are timeless. Jealousy in the 1500s is the same as jealousy or anger or love today, and how that ex is expressed is a study in history and social context. So it's why it's so cross-curricular. We study poetry, we study history, but it's also a way to feel the emotions and to give permission for feelings to come through. And it's a lesson in humanity for yourself and through time. And I often joke with my students that uh, singing a piece is like getting into a time machine and connecting with people. The feelings they had at the time that it was popular or even the composer that wrote it, that what was in his mind went to the paper and then it's our duty to connect and to represent what was in his mind and it's a fantastic honor to do that. I started in sixth grade, beginning band. I was originally supposed to play uh, tuba, right? that's what I wanted to play. They told me to start out on trumpet because the because I was a really, really small kid. So they didn't want the tuba like crushing me. And then eventually when I learned to actually play the trumpet, I got too good at it and they didn't want me playing on tuba. So they stuck me on trumpet and I've been playing it ever since. Yeah, I think music in the, as, as one of the fine arts, and I think the fine arts are extremely important, uh, not only for building character uh, for people, but also how important they are to our society, uh, especially in this time in our country and in the world. I think uh, there are many dangers in the directions that we're going, and the fact uh, that we have music and the arts to keep us well grounded is extremely important, and it's extremely important that we uh, develop well-rounded, well-balanced uh, citizens, and the arts are a very important part of that. Um, I saw music change the lives of so many of my students. When I was a band director, I know students that, uh, like me, probably wouldn't have finished high school had it not been for the music education program. I also know students that uh, are currently music educators because of the experience they had in their high school programs. And we never know how much music education is going to bend the twig of a young student. Um, as a school administrator, I saw music programs thrive. I also saw some music programs that could have affected many students in a positive way crushed by administrative policies that didn't take into consideration the importance of the arts in the lives of students. And I think it's very important as administrators that we remember that all students don't learn the same way and that some students are gifted in the area of the arts in ways that they aren't in other areas and that in order for them to uh, obtain their full potential, we need to support those programs in our schools.